It's gonna be a follow-up of my results of training arms every single day for 30 days. And what we're gonna do is talk about the science of how training a muscle every single day actually creates a phenomenon in your body similar to as if you were taking anabolic steroids. So come this way, I got some crazy artwork I gotta show you. Um, we're gonna talk about uh, bicep nuclei, we're gonna talk about broken rat legs, and then most importantly, we're gonna talk about some really fascinating studies on people who built a ton of muscle mass that weren't even trying, because it's one thing to look at like a bodybuilder, it's another thing to look at somebody who built a lot of muscle mass accidentally, and it's all gonna tie together, and stuff is gonna blow your mind. It's the world's first max dose pre-workout in terms of energy, and in terms of pump, and it's got the anti-crash and maximum absorption in it. Let's dive into some nuclei overload science. So you go in a gym, and say for instance, you're going up to some bodybuilder, and you're going up to anybody, and you say, oh, you know, how do you get big shoulders? How do you get big biceps, a big back? And you don't have the best genetics, and you say, okay, I'm going to train that muscle group every single day for a year straight. They're gonna look at you like you are a fucking idiot. And I don't blame them, because it sounds absolutely insane, but, Let's think about some real world examples involving animals and humans on um, where the muscle was actually worked every single day for a long period of time and what happened. So think about a ballerina's calves. Ballerinas are like on their tippy toes every single day, especially the ones like ballerinas have in insane regimens where they are practicing four to six hours a day every single day for years straight. They have crazy developed calves, even more so than a lot of bodybuilders. Um, guy named uh, Johnny Jackson, former professional bodybuilder. He's got the world's biggest traps, and more so than any Mr. Olympia winner in history. And he, he said uh, between the ages of 15 and 18, he would go in the weight room, he would try to show off in front of girls. What he would do is he would throw like six or seven 45s on each side every single workout. He did this for a couple years straight, and he would just shrug 20 reps five sets at the end of every single workout, and he has the biggest traps you've ever seen in your entire life. Um, okay, there is this village in Africa, and these guys, these workers, this kind of poor village where they hold these like giant wheelbarrows that walk around, they move stones and supplies all day long. Their traps grew a ton. Um, think about this. Say you meet somebody and he goes, oh, I'm a professional mover. I gotta move these giant couches every single day. I haven't had a day off in a year. Do you expect that person to be really tiny and have no muscle mass? Or do you expect them to be very muscular developed? And if you look at construction workers, you look at professional movers, um, you look at like a farmer, my grandpa, I never met him, he passed away before I was born. My grandpa was very muscular, had these broad shoulders, these big chest, uh, big arms, never touched a weight in his entire life, but he was doing manual labor every single day. Now, other thing, I have another video on the channel, I think it's like my fourth or fifth most popular video on the channel, I talk about how I used to do push-ups every single day for a couple years straight, now my chest grows like a weed. I barely even work on my chest, and my chest just grows like that. You're like, oh, your body needs rest to recover, it's gonna shrink. Now why, in all these examples, did those muscles become overdeveloped? Because of the nuclei in the muscle cells. So let's dive right into some nuclei science. So, the muscle cell is the only cell in the human body that can have more than one nuclei. Now, this is important because the more nuclei that you have in the muscle cell, this equals the more potential for growth. Now, Kyle is a bit of a hard gainer. He has trouble building muscle mass. He has one nuclei in the bicep muscle cell. We have my boy Muhammad Ali. Now, he's a heavyweight champ, so he's got a few more nuclei. Let's say he's got three nuclei in the bicep muscle cell. And then we have Joanne. Now Joanne is an absolute monster. She has 10 nuclei in the muscle cell. Now, you can take all three of these people right here and you can give them the same nutrition, the same rest time, the same cortisol levels, um, the exact same calories, training, everything across the board. And Joanne, with all these nuclei in her muscle cell, is gonna grow exponentially faster. Now the question is, how do we actually increase the amount of nuclei in the muscle cell? So scientific research on Ralph's broken rat leg is actually going to explain how training a muscle every single day can result in steroid-likely muscle gain. So let me, now, where does the nuclei come from? The nuclei comes from something called a satellite cell. You have all these satellite cells that are just kind of like dormant, waiting for something to happen inside the muscle cell. So satellite cells, so say for instance, this is a bicep muscle cell. So you tear your bicep right here, and then what happens is all these satellite cells go to the place of injury, 
Okay, and this is where the magic happens. So see all these satellite cells going to the place of injury. They're gonna fuse, they're gonna form these myoblasts. And then that is basically taking steroids and any form of elevating your testosterone actually increases the activity of these satellite cells. So you can have more nuclei. Number one is steroids. Number two is overtrained. They took a rat and actually broke one of its legs. And what they did is they studied what happened to the other leg that was basically forced to work overtime, forced to work more, there is more volume, more, uh, just basically more um, like strain and resistance on that leg because one of the legs was broken. What they found was, see this leg right here? See how healthy that leg looks on? Over the course of time, the nuclei was increased in the leg that wasn't broken. How exactly would you go about overtraining it? Now, the, so you wanna put a lot of volume and a lot of reps and sets. The key thing is you have to do a ton of volume and then you have to let that muscle completely rest and recover. So, four weeks on, four weeks on, two weeks off. So, there's gonna be two phases. You're gonna have, so just pick one muscle group. Only do one muscle group at a time with this because it's gonna be a lot of strain on your body. And really make sure you don't tax your CNS system and just leave a lot of workout intensity for this one muscle group. So what you're gonna do, one of the workouts, you're gonna lift really heavy. One to two workouts a week, you're gonna lift heavy in the six to 10 rep range. Focus on eccentric overload, focus on the muscle damage aspect. Um, five to seven days a week, you're also going to do maximum pump work. So you're gonna do 20 to 40 reps per set. You're gonna go very short rest times. You're gonna go about six to 10 total sets every single day, but you just wanna overtrain it and put way more volume than it's ever had in its entire life to force more nuclei into that muscle cell. So four weeks on doing that, then you wanna take one to two weeks off of all forms of training. Do not touch a weight for one to two weeks. Completely uh, let your body repair and reheal. And then to really get the most out of this, we're gonna go four weeks on again. And then you go back to training it normally, like once or twice a week. So most importantly, make sure you guys are in a, a slight caloric surplus when you're doing this. Make sure you guys are having proper nutrition and supplementation. Um, you guys are gonna love it. The flavor is amazing. And if you guys wanna really take your training to the next level, increase that workout intensity, which I think is the number one X factor to fast results, take a badass pre-workout.